What is good? We're back. And today on the program, we have fresh cracks and a 2024 startup rookie mock. Startup mock, not nope. a rookie mock. Oh, oh see, I'm so, see, I'm so ready to do the rookie mocks. It's just a startup mock. <laughs> it's way too early 2024 startup mock, super flex, tight end premium. I didn't get the air horn. Idiot. Yeah. Well, here yeah. we are. Let's go. Get that bull junk out of here. Bull junk. Um, so, excited today. Did our did our first little uh, 24, 2024 startup. Super flex, of course. Um, no rookies in this one. We got one that we're cooking right now that the rookies will be in. But I wanted to do this one without the rookies just to kind of see, get a lay of the land of of kind of where we were at the end of August and we're going to use some of our ADP from there and where we are now and kind of how things have adjusted and now we'll, you know, we'll have a next we're cooking right now with the patrons go over to you know FFD uh, patreon.com backslash the FFD and five dollar holler you could participate in some of the mocks um, like subscribe comment below if, if you don't want to go down that route or, or do both you know you take a couple we'll take a couple uh, you know we'll have a good time so that one's right right down the, the pike here. Maybe in a week or so, we will hit you with a 2024 startup with rookies. Way too early, of course. Got to be way too early. If it's not too way too early, I don't want it. <laughs> uh, I right. want a properly timed. Right. Right. Right on time. Super flex mock. This is too late. So. Uh, right Better off the wear a late text because you don't want that late text. Mm, mm-hmm. Oh, I think I'm late text. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I already had a couple of those. <laughs> You know, that was before, uh, you know, a long Ro- time ago, Roe v. Wade. <laughs> uh, no, not that long ago. Anyway. Um, all right. So right off the rip here, we're, we're pretty standard. We got Mahomes, Josh Allen, Hertz, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert. Uh, so, you know, pretty standard stuff. Nothing really changing. Uh, we're we're going to kind of give you some risers and some fallers here. We're not going to go over this entire thing, but I'm going to read some aloud for the good because um, I wasn't sure they're off the rip. <laughs> I'm going to read some aloud. <laughs> try to keep the podcast listeners engaged as well, which I'll leave a link down in the description below. Right. So, you know, I took Justin Jefferson here. Then it goes Anthony Richardson, Trevor Lawrence, Jamar Chase, Bijan and Brees Hall ran on out round one. So I think right off the rip, we have a little bit of a of a market misvalue here um i I think stroud has has probably got to be in that first round um at this point if if a rich is in there i think stroud's probably got to be up in there you you maybe even take stroud before lawrence at this point if you're feeling frisky so this was this draft was before this last game for cj uh and it was probably during the other the big game for cj two weeks ago um so full disclosure there but we we, these do take a minute to do because they're longer clocks it's not like we just are banging it out in, in 30 second intervals. So um, I think that's the first misvalue here. That, that's got to be corrected. Uh, but, you know, the rest of the first round, I think, is is pretty right on par. Um, Bijan still holding it down as the num- numero uno by, by yours truly from Jay Wayne there. And then Brees Hall coming back up into the first round. Um, so he was like a mid-second or so, I believe, from our ADP um, from – from August, so that's kind of what the barometer is going to be of some movers and shakers. So nice to see Brees bouncing back. I don't, you know, Brees Hall was two five. So some people were pretty been been a little mad at Brees and saying you don't draft. You know, this is why you don't draft running backs off ACLs. And I'm like, I mean, I think it's it's not Brees. Brees looks fine. Mm-hmm. I think it's the situation, unfortunately. Um, and Brees is still doing his thing. I'm not sure why they don't throw it to him five six times a game because he's yeah. clearly one of their best playmakers outside of Garrett. Um, other they than just that, cut Michael Carter so maybe we can get a couple extra targets. Please. Maurice's way. Please. Um, CMC holding it down for the OGs. Uh, two, three, not a huge move up, but it's nice to see positive movement on CFC. And, and you know, two at least ten last draft. At least our, our crowd was off season ADP. Excuse they're not me. scared. You know, they, they, they just put the bone crusher on and they draft. Um, well, it's not hard to be scared when you see what he's still yeah. doing. Right. Um, so then, you know, it's nice to see St. Brown getting a little respect. I think he's he bounced up. I think he's right on right on par with his ranking. Uh, so a big riser there. No no huge fallers uh, just just yet. Fields maybe down a little um, to a, probably about where he was. Uh, Kelsey kind of staying strong there. I think that's probably a little bit of a miss 
mismanagement. Uh, he should probably be down a little bit. But Hawkinson. It's a swift bump. Hawkinson, big riser here up to 2-9. Um, there was a, you know, a lot of concerns of what would be and what wouldn't be. All those concerns have been put to rest. Josh Dobbs to the rescue. Uh, Hawkinson yeah. coming in with a back injury this last week and, and just crushing targets. Uh, so you know, up from four seven, it seems like worst case scenario, Dobbs maybe strings along to the to the cousins, and you, you feel good about your Hawkinson and and your JJs and and your Addisons. So, heck yes, um, Mark Andrews there, CJ Stroud then comes in, and, and Kyler, which I think about where Kyler was, I think Kyler will be uh, shooting back the other way here shortly. Then we kind of get in the third round. We got Travis Etienne being a big riser here, and Deshaun Watson being a little bit of a faller here. Um, I, I would yeah, say I, I should have probably just let him fall, see where he would go. But Desha Deshaun, yeah, I, of yeah. course I took him. Um, so which I was taking him at the end of the. Uh, where what was Deshaun? I, have to, I was taking him like at the he end of the been first. The he would have been the wrap around probably in our ADP. Yeah, yeah, one twelve. That was definitely me pushing him up there. And, and me, I you know grabbing him big, at big Deshaun three guy. two. Great value, in my yeah. opinion, right there. And then ET getting putting some respect on his oh. name. He was in that like that four. Around four ish log jam, I believe, or, or kind of right around it, probably with Kenny Three Sticks. Travis Etienne kind of led that crew at four six. And then after that, four eight was Jacobs, Eckler, Najee, Kenneth Walker, Ramondre, right. Pollard, Chubb. Right. So in that group, uh, Etienne really emerges. Um, so that's it's nice to see. And, and I mean, there, I think some questions have been put to bed. I mean, <laughs> he's a good player. Uh, and. <laughs> That, that can be put to head first and foremost because there's a lot of people that are haters. Um, but uh, and, and getting the workhorse role. So so big, big movement there. Good for him. Fall on Deshaun Watson, I guess a little warranted. He, he maybe in this last game gave some people some confidence back. So we might see him falling or that might be the new norm for him. We, we shall see or see him rising. That might be the new norm. Uh, Gibbs, I think, was kind of, you know, fairly consistent, you know, up, up a little probably, but not not terribly. Um, Jalen Waddle, another big faller here to three five. Uh, people may be a little rattled with him right now, but I'll take the discount. Uh, so maybe on some of these fallers, they might be some guys if you're interested in them and you're seeing them fall in this draft. It's one draft. We like to use an average, uh, but it's one draft here just to get a feel of where it's at. Anybody who you feel is maybe a little too far down might be a market indication of saying, "Hey, maybe go send some feelers for that." This isn't the 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 uh, show where I'm going to give you examples of exactly what I would send for him, but just letting you know where there may be some values here. Dak Prescott, the next guy uh, with, I think, like I started off with market inefficiency there down a little bit. He's been excellent. Jeez, um, just market all over the place. You yeah. Gotta drink. I mean, um, I don't think there's any chance he's going there on any other startup f from now for a little while. He's, I think he's kind of boosted his stock back up. The rushing looks like it's back there. Um, could have had even more points in this last game or, or two games ago in the Eagles game where he stepped out of bounds. Um, but, but Dak is seemingly back and, and playing really well, playing with some confidence and running around Chris Olave, um, maybe down, uh, a, a little bit there. So Waddle and Olave both down receiver wise, um, Bryce Young kind of sticking in there at, at three eight. You know, I think he might have been a little higher than that, but um, shocked to kind of see him s hanging in there. So good on. He's at two twelve, right? Uh, so yeah, a little bit of a fall. And then JT, uh, a, another faller there. Uh, I don't really understand that one. He he probably had enough time back of, of looking all right, uh, but but fell down the ranks a little bit. So maybe there's still a little bit of room on on JT to to buy into. Yeah, it's over a full round drop. Yeah. Um, so. Then we got this turn, which is actually kind of what the same turn was um, for most of our offseason, like a Diggs, a JSN, um, Devonta Smith, T. Higgins, all all were kind of all together all all season. Drake was the big faller out of that group. He falls down to uh, four eleven, so maybe maybe a little meat on that bone. Um, oh yeah, big big trade target there. I could see Diggs maybe fall on a little bit more in the offseason. I think some of these older guys getting a little bump right now for what they're doing. But as we get into the offseason, I could see some of their value starting to go down, which is the time that you buy, you know, veteran players when you're gearing up to make a run when somebody doesn't want them because they're into the new hotness. Um, so I could see Diggs falling a little here. Um, Sam Laporta, obviously, big, big increase. Um, Devon A. Chain, big, big increase, of course. Kenny Walker getting a little bit of love, but probably wasn't terribly far off from where he was. So kind of staying the same, bump up a little bit, but a nice little group there. Yeah, Sam Laporte up from the 10th round. Mm -hmm. That's maybe the biggest riser so far. So far, yeah. 
A chain. A chain. A chain. Probably. A chain. A chain. Sorry. Jesus. A chains. Is there an S on there? Um, A chain. All right. Um, <laughs> Kyle Bonds, Pitts. A chain. Kyle Pitts falling down a little bit. Warranted. Um, DK the, Metcalf. Probably it's the, uh, Arthur Smith bump. Probably in the opposite direction. Yeah. Probably equal to about right there for Metcalf. He may, could have been a little closer on that three turn that we talked about, that grouping of wide receivers. Um, Kincaid kind of coming up. I think he'll end up even further up here. He'll pass He'll pass Pitts. He'll probably be up in the third round by the time yep. we're, we're moving into next year. DK was 4-5. He's 4-6 mm -hmm. right now, so he hasn't moved at all. He's right there. Jared Goff, 4-7. Um, so that's probably up a little. Um, but, you know, we'll talk about the QBs in a little bit. Um, but I think, you know, I think there's just you, we got a real creepy problem uh, brewing. So we'll hope this uh, rookie class can when we, when we do the draft with rookies, I think we'll see uh, some some more fresh blood uh, with the QBs. But we'll get back to those in a second. Kincaid golf, up golf up a round and a half. Yeah. Kincaid up Addison up um, some Brock Purdy way up here. So uh, Brock Purdy getting a little respect there. Like I said, Drake London down Saquon down, maybe down, down, down. And that might be a. You know, Purdy might not go that soon in, in drafts, but that's that per, that's um his first quarterback. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't have one, you gotta reach well. I mean, a little bit, you but. know, just go ahead and look around that QB market mm -hmm. uh, and see what it what it looks like here in a couple of rounds, and we'll double back this conversation a well, little bit. He's but. like the last one you feel any right. comfortable about. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can dive in now. Gotta get him. Uh, you know, you got Daniel Jones <laughs> <laughs> and Kenny Pickett. You know, uh, you know, still would be fine with those guys, but they got to be way down. They got to be once they got to cross double digits and now I'll get back in. I'm not fucking with those guys right now. Uh, Kirk Cousins, you know, uh, sure, but probably needs to drop a little bit more. I love Kirk, uh, but coming off an ACL or a, a, a Achilles rather. And then 35 years old, um, you know, and I, Kirk's a Kirk's a fighter. He's coming back. Uh, yeah. He'll probably be just fine. But, you know, we don't we don't know. And then Gino. Probably fine. Sam Howell, you know, you get you get excited about. He's a big riser. Sam Howell's probably the next guy outside of Purdy that you could get excited about, you know, and be like, hey, maybe we got something here. Still with, hard with to get Sam excited Howell. about Sam Howell. Seventh round Sam Howell, though, in this quarterback depleted market seems like, yeah, I'll take a shot there. He looks, if you could get Sam Howell some protection, man, uh, he, he's he's freaking slinging it around out there. I'm, I'm, I'm not upset about that. And then Levis, how much, how much you want to hook your wagon to Levis going right after after Hal there in the seventh round. I so. see what Alex is doing there. That's his third QB taking a big swing. For me, probably a little too early. Right. So that just again, then then you got Jordan Love, which, you know, I'm fine with taking Love. I think, you know, will they end up w with a new quarterback there? I don't know, but um he he's had some good and some bad in his real first year starting. Uh and, and can run around a little bit. Derek Carr, I mean, gotta go down. Russell Wilson, yeah, I, yeah that's probably tenth 10th, 11th, 12th round, Russell Wilson, sure. Stafford's probably the, the guy I still want down there because, uh, you know. Is he going to, you know, is right. he going to play? And we talked about this off the air. Is almost too much money to not play. Right. And, you know, he's he's going to be the one. Out of all those guys I just talked about, I feel the most comfortable with him scoring points. So, you know, it's just, boy, oh, boy, does it get ugly there. So, I, I the Purdy at 410 is, I think, warranted. Yeah, the guy took Purdy to Cal, and then that was his two QBs. Right. So, you know, he took Rodgers a little later. Dylon, my bad. 12. I can't see from over here. Dylon, 55. 12 rounds later. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, that that was that's going to round out the fourth round. Barkley, probably some buy, especially, uh, if, you know, it, it'll get probably even. The only thing with Barkley in the offseason is he may change teams, um, and there may be a little bit of spike there, but there's probably some room to buy Barkley. Um, for a contender, I don't know the, how much I love it just because they're just team is bleh. maybe if you could get for a pretend for a, you, a rebuild. If you no, no, no. I'm saying for a contender, I'm not necessarily sure I love it. I think kind of a middle team with a decent amount of picks that could be bouncing back pretty quick. I think Saquon could be potentially a buy. To, so Why like, not for a contender then? Because I just don't know if I want them. I mean, if you're if you're a good team that you think is going to be more than one run, then sure. I just don't know that I, I trust them to make the run with this year. Um you know, I don't know if he's going to be helping you a ton. Uh, if if Tyrod right, comes right. back um, for this year, good right. point, good point. Right. Uh, so that was just kind of a thought there. That I, I think there's some good Saquon Barkley left. Unfortunately, we're not getting it right now. We we saw a glimpse of it here and there, uh, but you know, Saquon could have a little meat on the bone there um, with with some value. So uh, keep it moving here. Josh Jacobs fell down a little bit. Puka way up, of course. Eckler falling down a little bit. Uh, five four. 
So he was up with that group that we talked about, the Kenny Walkers, the Josh Jacobs. So he, he's down a little. Uh, Pittman stays pretty much equal. Javante up up a little. Javante Williams uh, up a little. Brandon Ayuk way up. You Rightfully know, so, baby. Like, like to see that. Uh, was surprised maybe, I guess, maybe after this week, Javante might climb up another couple of picks. People are feeling starting to feel more and more comfortable with him. So Javante Williams. Saw him a little bit in prime time. Made some, you know, he's right. looking solid out there. Right, so... Uh, Christian Kirk, huge riser here, um, and now Zay Zay Jones is uh, you know dealing with some off the field things. Yeah, maybe got into that K two again. I don't know, uh, oh. but not good. Uh, yeah. Not a good situation. Not a good look. But great for Christian Kirk uh, potentially. Who's, who's just taking off? Right. He just is, is a great player as if he's if you just throw the ball to him. Uh, imagine that. Uh, and then DeAndre Swift coming in the next round, really really rising up. I thought that was. Uh, you know, nice to see he's up a rounder, round and a half. So I think that's warranted. Najee down a little bit. We could see Najee tumbling even more. Cooper Cup down, uh, down to the sixth round here. Real quick, now you mentioned Cooper Cup. Puka Nakua, I had him at five two. That that that's a he's not lasting that. No, long, probably right? not. I think that's a pretty sleeper, good sleeper. You couldn't find him. Right. You had to scroll way down in sleeper ADP to even find him. And I was like, ah, oh, this isn't even fair. Like someone should have taken T. Higgins him or Puka a long time ago. I mean. I hate to say it, but I guess Ooh, you probably got to take I think Puka. So. I think I might. I think I might. But T's awesome. T, T gave you a little reminder in the last yeah. game he played in. Yeah, uh, that, that I mean, he's, he's good. It's mostly the narrative around him and right. the value that's behind So I was Puka, actually surprised you know? he stayed at the 4-2 spot there. I thought he might yeah. slide a little more. So kudos uh, there. It's Goddard. Our boy, it's our boy Matt. Yeah, Goddard sliding a little. Uh, Hollywood Brown up. This is definitely pre-Goddard injury as well. Probably. Definitely. Um, Kamara up a good bit. You know, he was he was down there. Oh, and he catch 20 balls a game. That'll uh, do it. Giving, giving some old guys some love there. So he's got Eckler and Kamara. Uh, so he's he's ready to roll and try to win right now. So Ready to roll! <laughs> uh, ready to roll, ready to roll, ready to roll. Trey McBride way up. He'll, he's going to jump even more after this last week. Mm -hmm. uh, Nico uh, way up. I think Nico might have maybe went a hair earlier, potentially. Like he was... Buried another well. one. I shouldn't have got. I was like, I, I looked at them both and I was like, oh, I could take both these guys. Right. And, and that just goes to show you, you know, know the, your board, the, know the board, know, know you what know, order they're giving what it to you're you, drafting on and, and who's there. I know we're not anywhere near draft season, but yeah. And, and sleeper, you know, we're in season, so they're probably not on their ADP as much as they might should be because obviously like Puka and Nico were in the hundreds or something. I feel like oh, 100 plus ADP. Yeah. And now I think we're about to get into a little bit more uh some 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 fallers a little bit here um uh, jamison williams uh falling down um uh Traylon burks falling down to 9 11 uh quentin johnson probably down a hair george kittle way down eight eight five um he's he's gone off for like two straight weeks since then too you know yeah but the fact that he's 30 you know and, and started slow it, it's clear they were preserving him I think early he, i think he was banged up too coming yeah in. Right, and so the, the no re no reason to rush him back, and now right. you see what he can do. Yeah, I mean the Niners scored you thirty points a do. game. Then you know everybody everybody's eating. Uh, so um, I think that's really good value on Kittle there. Kyron obviously up a little bit um, at the in the eighth round though. I thought he might have went a little bit higher, um, but I, I think that's still I st I'd buy Kyron. I'd buy a chance at what Kyron is uh, in the eighth round. We don't know what's going to happen in the off season, but. Interesting, R Rashad White kind of stayed neutral, um, and uh, another player that stayed neutral was um, Brian Robinson. He's he's down here a little bit um, in, the, he, in the 11th round, so those guys kind of staying neutral was a little weird. I thought those guys would both kind of climb a little bit. Brian got a little cold there for a second, and then I feel like he's had a couple of good weeks yeah, recently. Uh, huge and, value and which, at 11-6, so maybe, maybe a buy potential. Obviously, he just did well this week, um, So, but I think there, there could be... Hot and cold, maybe a little potential by uh, Brian Robinson. Yeah, he, he had been, you know, under 10 points for a couple of weeks, then just right over 10, and then finally this past week, you know, jumping up to... Christian Watson uh, dropping down out of the fifth round, I believe, to 7-5 there, um, which, you know, uh, Jerry Judy... <laughs> Not really sure why Jerry Judy's holding on there so strong at 7-7 seven, seven there. I would have thought he would have been down a, a good bit. Um, yeah, yeah, I didn't... Didn't see that coming either, and I, I wouldn't. I think I mean, man, there's still Debo and Deontay, Josh Downs. I mean, I'm like, like give me Keenan, shit, right? Man, give me probably Rock. Give me Rashi Rice. I'll I'll go ahead and switch over to Jameson. 
Tank Dell. I mean, shit. Jerry Judy, I mean, which he did burn that guy. He had a touchdown. Uh, yeah, now, now they mean, did all out pressure, and right. Russell had no time to make the throw. Right. And, and then they, and he came back to make a good play. Won him the game, basically. Right. Uh, I think he's well, better than what has been game, reflected in, in his stats. Um, so we'll, well, we shall see. Well, it's clear that Sean Payton hates him. Well, it was just they're not throwing the ball like that, really. You know, Sutton Cortland's showing. Cortland's getting out. some volume. Three percent touchdown then, uh, per, uh, completion <laughs> on the last touchdown. probability on that yeah. uh, that Co- Cortland touchdown. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> Josh Downs. <laughs> Any up. thoughts on that? <laughs> Josh Downs way up. Uh, Tank Dell way up. Jacoby Myers way up. Uh, Keenan Allen getting a little bit of love up up eight six. I think that'll drop back down. Like I said, talking about the old guys a little bit. Sharbs stayed all right at eight four there. Uh, so that was kind of nice to see. And Mims staying up in the nines after not being super productive. But we, I think kind of the same deal. I think he's better than what he's on the Broncos. Same same as Judy. Uh, Rashi Rice up. Um, Taji Spears up. Um, Pat Fryermuth, I think, down kind of a forgotten man. But I, maybe there's a potential super buy low window for him. I don't think anybody gives a shit about him. And he's he's was second on the on the Pittsburgh Steelers in, in receptions last year. Uh, he's still only 25, really good player. He's been marred with injuries and some concussions, so a little bit of worry there, um, but hasn't been helping anybody out. There there could be a little buy window for him. Um, I like it. You know, Miles Sanders, and 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 w- who was a favorite of ours, 10-4. I mean, he's fallen way down, uh, rightfully so. That's Big been a, D should have let him go and find, seen how right, far he right, really would have right. fallen down. That's an L for sure. Joe Mixon's fallen down a little bit. Mixon's playing all right through the stretch here, though. Um, 10, 10, one, but you know, Mixon seems to be a guy who's just, you know, fine for the most 10, part. Three there, but 10, three, sorry. Uh, and then Jalen Warren coming up at 11, 12. Um, you know, I think probably, that's, that's probably, that, good, that's, that's probably there. We probably did this. That was maybe one or two weeks ago by the time we made that pick, you know, he, he had another strong game here and 15 carries hundred plus yards touchdown. Yeah. I think he's, he's low key coming up strong i think Najee, but with Najee playing so well has kept the buzz on Jalen warren down a little right. bit because it can't be just well like, and then they they introduced him with the starting lineup this week against mm. the packers and everybody was like oh and then oh he's a start and it's like i think they're still gonna get the same it's just they're tomlin i think mostly just wanted to give him his due of being like he's playing really well he deserves touches deserves more touches let him let, you know let's, let's let's announce that Jalen warren's are you know a, a good guy uh and and should be uh with the starting lineup there uh, was so, Najee also? I don't. I don't listed with the it. semantics. Starters. I think at this point, I don't think it's they're running uh, twenty. What, what personnel is that with two RVs out there? Twenty <laughs> one, uh, yeah. maybe no. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, Warren warranted uh, up there and and probably climbing a little bit more. Uh, definitely a guy to keep your eye on. Um, Pierce way down, which hurts my heart, but uh, Singletary. Finally got a run game going for them. So two weeks ago, Singletary, Bupkis this this week, Singletary, nice nice run game, look good out there. Uh, so hopefully Pierce will come back and, and mix in there and 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 you know redeem uh, myself and himself a little bit here that that maybe we could get a little bit of run game going. Maybe the fact that all, all of a sudden people are like, oh shit, Stroud's the real deal. We need to back up a little bit. We need to figure out. Hey, they're they're spreading it around. Every ball seems like it's completable with with Stroud back there. So I, I don't know. Just wishful thinking, maybe copium, as the kids say. Spears up, of course. Uh, Ferguson probably maybe not up high enough. Schultz still good value. Comet I think good value. So those guys haven't completely taken off. Anything else here that that really stands out to you? Uh, Jerome Ford uh, stay stays up. Yeah, got, got up pretty good there um, at, at twelve eleven. Um, so, you know, that's, that's pretty solid for, for a guy that we don't know what the future is, but damn, doesn't he, he looks pretty good. Cortland Sutton basically kind of stayed the same, uh, Michael Wilson up a little bit, Romeo up a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just look at my team there. I, I was able to, to get Aaron Jones, Jerome Ford, DeAndre Hopkins and Raheem Mostert. I just got four starters right from 11 to 14. Yeah. You know, that's, those are four. I, I, I'm competing with those guys, and I was able to build like a, a younger core up top. I did take McLaurin with one of my picks, but you know, I, I made sure to get get a bunch of young wide receivers. I got Bijan, and I didn't take another running back after that. Yeah, Aaron Jones. I didn't take Ford a single running back. Aaron Jones, my second running back, and then I got Ford and Mostert. I'm like, holy shit! I might have like the best running back core in the league right now. <laughs> you know, like yeah. Bijan and 
Most, Mostert and Mostert, we don't know. I mean, be 32, 33 next year, but still, <laughs> still crushing, still doing work. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You treat this like you're going into next year, or right. is this like I, I I'm competing this going year, next year? Yeah. Um, so, way well, yeah, I look at it anyway. Um, so, you know, some 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 lower round guys that I was Ke- liking. Keaton Mitchell coming up there. To, I don't know if you mentioned him. That was I did a little, not. 13, little eye eye opening three, there. So like, he'll probably good little pick there. Dialon. I can see him and Warren popping up. That was too. before this past week too. So yeah, I could see them moving up two a round or two a piece um so you know just wanted to kind of do this sh- show where guys were who was falling who was rising seeing if there's value or or if there's guys that you might want to sell high on any of those guys we said hey we're moving up on or that are higher than than maybe you want to sell and then any guys that we said were hey falling down a little bit maybe you want to explore uh buying into if you're into them some some of the later round guys obviously demario douglas has been a favorite of ours uh down there at 14th round so maybe still some value there josh palmer i know he's hurt right now uh but you know, late round guy that, that could give you just some depth on, on on the bench there for 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 free, and then Trey Palmer is running a ton of routes right now, being out there a lot. Um, he, he's he's a guy that I could see um, gaining some value in the off season. Tolbert's been out there playing playing really well. See what Kyle Phillips could do um, out yeah, there with Kyle Phillips steadily been right. almost startable. Right. I mean, I think ten and nine the last two weeks, and yeah, you know, if we could get a little more comfortable with. Um, with old Levis there, we could we could really see something. Uh, so, just a couple of later round guys there. I had my eye on Hennon Hooker there, you know, as in the fifteenth round um, that I that I wanted to snag, but I uh, thought maybe make it back to the sixteenth there. But grab him, you know, Lions trending in the right direction. I, no slight on golf by any means, but you never know. Um, and he's he was a pretty good player that got you know taken with an ACL injury. So um, that was a quarterback there uh, a little later. Uh, so hey, you got anything else to add before we, uh, get on out of here? No, nah, I think I'm good. All right. Well, just a quick little 2024 startup mock for your pleasure. Um, just to get the juices flowing, kind of see where people were. We'll, we'll be checking in on these, like I said, at least once a month, but we're about to do one with rookies. So that'll be an interesting to kind of reshape this landscape, get an idea where those guys are already going ahead of who. Um, and again, we'll be doing that all off season long to, you know, start tracking ADP and, you know, just have be able to have discussions of whose values are rising and, and falling. So uh, appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Check out the uh, Patreon for the FFD $5 holler. You can get in on these mocks. You can get in on the Discord. You can get some of your teams reviewed. You get first crack at when we do those rebuilds and review shows. And then we do the three extra shows where, you know, if you have a team that, that maybe you want on there, we might, we might hit and talk about. So a lot of good stuff going on. Support the team. Uh, you can go to revelrybrewcompany.com, buy a t-shirt if, if that's the way you want to support with some sick merch. Um, strong tea. Uh, we, we're we're going to work on our merch game. We're going to try to get it up a little bit, get some more things to sell, maybe some coffee mugs, stickers, hoodies, hats, baseball bats, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe some water pipes. <laughs> a what pipe? A water pipe. Okay. Yeah. I knew, that one. I knew you'd like that. <laughs> All right. Let's get the FF out of here. Let's get the FF. Appreciate y'all. Hit that five-star review. Peace. Ready, roll, ready, roll.